I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, April 28, 2022. OPP have issued a warning to all of us following a rise of internationally based brokerage frauds of Ontario residents involving cryptocurrencies. Police say you can avoid being scammed by simply taking the time to properly research cryptocurrency trading and investing and suggest doing your due diligence to confirm that the company trading on your behalf is legit. In Canada, anyone in the business of trading or advising on securities must be registered, except for very few circumstances. Police also suggest never giving remote access of your home computer to any unknown person. Police say a witness has come forward following a serious assault at the Gloria Sons concert in Kingston on April 15th. While no further details have been released at this time, the original photos from our previous coverage of this story have been removed online at the request of Kingston Police. A 19-year-old Napanee man faces impaired driving charges after he was caught speeding on the 401 near Kingston. Brian Hudson was pulled over by OPP shortly before 1 a.m. on April 24th and was observed showing signs of impairment by officers. Hudson was transported to police headquarters where he was tested and his vehicle impounded for seven days. The Times Higher Education Impact Rankings have been released and once again, Queen's University has made the top 10. Queen's ranked 7th in its global rankings of post-secondary institutions. Established back in 2019, the ranking is part of a universal call to action to protect the planet and to use metrics from four key areas, research, teaching, outreach, and stewardship. This year's competition saw participation from over 1,500 post-secondary institutions and focused on on the impact made in 17 categories measuring sustainability. The City of Kingston wants to know what you think about a draft bylaw to reduce AC energy consumption in Kingston. On August 13, 2019, Council passed a motion directing staff to prepare a bylaw to prohibit open doors and windows when air conditioning is in operation. Now, if implemented, the City says it would adopt an education-first approach and work with community partners to ensure broad awareness of the bylaw before handing out any fines. And lastly, if you're sweating about what to do for mum this Mother's Day, fear not. Kingstonist has got you covered. Uh, you can check out the article, <laughs> Mother's Day Gift Ideas, right now at thekingstonist.com to get some ideas on what to get mom or to place your orders for Mother's Day deliveries now. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.